Yo guys, what is up? Max or Narl in ring video and today we're going over the best incantations in the game. Now I am currently level 160. I've beaten Elden Ring. I've collected just about every incantation in the game and today I want to go over what the best ones are and where to get them. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you find it informative. If you do, be sure to drop a like, comment and hey, maybe even subscribe. Guys, let's get right into it. So we're going to do the best incantation for each damage type aka the best fire incantation, the best lightning incantation, and so on and so forth. And at the end of the video, I will give you my opinion about what the best incantation in the entire game is. Um, and starting off with fire, we have the Giant's Flame Take Thee. Now, this incantation, when you can connect with it, is incredibly powerful. Uh, I'm going to boost my fire damage real quick uh, with Flame Grant Me Strength and my Mixed Physique to increase my fire damage. And then toss a Giant's Flame Take Thee point blank at one of these guys. And as you can see, 2,200 damage from that. And you can hit multiple enemies. Uh, this thing's biggest downfall is it's super short range. Like, I probably, from this range, won't even hit this guy. I bet you I won't hit him. Yep. Um, what you can do is toss this thing up into the air to, like, try to avoid its direct scaling or, like, direct path because... It'll usually drop to the ground and not give it any range, but if you aim it into the air, uh, you can usually toss it into a big group, and it does big knockdown. Now, at our number two fire incantation, uh, I honestly, you could put it at number one, and I feel a little weird putting a buff, but the flame grant me strength. If you want to use any fire incantation, any fire weapon, or any fire anything, this is a 20% buff to all of your fire damage and it lasts a long time it's low fp cost uh it's kind of a must have if you want to do anything fire a 20 percent damage increase is kind of nuts uh and it stacks with other things all right that's our best fire incantations up next we've got god slayer incantations which are going to work with the god slayer seal and at the number two spot we have the black flame incantation now this was my bread and butter for like a good half of the game for bosses it's quick casting it's got good damage i found most bosses were susceptible to it um and the god slayer seal is one of the best seals in the game so like genuinely you can't go wrong you'll probably be using this against some of the last bosses in the entire game just because it's so good uh but i do want to share with you what i believe to be a little bit better uh which is a really really cool incantation now that this is a boss incantation so i won't share how to get it until later on in the video at the end if you don't want any spoilers but the black blade incantation a boss incantation does not work with the god slayer seal but it does give you hyper armor this is super rare with incantations almost all the incantations can be interrupted if you take a hit while you're casting it you will be stopped and you'll take damage this one while you're in its animation you cannot be stopped i've taken multiple hits from it from multiple enemies and you get to cast it and you can double cast it meaning your first hit will most likely stagger or stop enemies in their tracks and then the second hit's almost a guaranteed hit um so what we do with this thing is we send it down and then you can immediately do it again and it travels through enemies so if you've got a big group of enemies if you've got a boss if you've got something that you kind of just want to tank through um this thing does a ton of damage it does that dot damage and it gives you that hyper armor uh, it is a little bit more FP cons or, uh, FP consuming than the other one. But the fact that you can, like, see how I took that hit during that and I just kept going, I kept casting, is so, so helpful. Next up, we've got lightning incantations. Now, there are so many cool lightning incantations. The thing with lightning is a lot of times they, like, miss enemies. They'll skip in between them. Uh, but my three favorite to use... Uh, first off, we have Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. This thing hits like a truck, and it hits a lot of enemies. It'll just one-shot these guys. 2,200 damage. Uh, this is one of the most consistent lightning spells that I've used. Uh, as you can see, we basically just one-shot most of those things there. Next up, at our number two spot, we have Fortisax's Lightning Spear. Uh, this thing, if you do it on top of an enemy, is silly. <laughs> just like both attacks there if you can get an opening to do it on an enemy and openings are small because these are very interruptible but it's got an aoe you're gonna want to be close to an enemy to deal the most damage with this thing uh let's see if we can get this guy as you can see super easy to interrupt all right if you can get an opening 2500 damage on that guy uh so just straight up damage that's the best one but it is not our best lightning incantation in the game 
In my opinion, you are welcome to disagree. I think the best lightning incantation is lightning spirit. This thing is so good in almost every situation. It one shots most trash mobs in the game if you're scaling right. It's got really good range. It's super fast. It's good for interrupting. You can get uh, like little moments that bosses have like in between their motions to interrupt them. Uh, if a boss is super low health, you can just kind of finish them off with this. It's got really low FP cost and is still one of my best spells or my favorite spells in the entire game. Next up, we've got Madness Spells, and at the number two Madness Spell in the game is Frenzied Burst. This thing is a sniper shot. Uh, it's really good tool to have. It's the longest hitting spell that I've found in the entire game. Uh, and if there's an enemy that's like kind of at range that you're afraid of, or it's blocking a path that you'd like to take, you can kind of just quickly take them out with this. It also passes through multiple enemies, but our best Frenzy spell that I uh, believe is the Flame of Frenzy. This is just a really good AoE spell. Uh, it hits a bunch of enemies, it's relatively low FP cost, and it's reliable. Uh, it's one of the only reliable AoE spells for just hitting enemies, and you can hold it down to like, just kinda kill a bunch of things. Uh, it's a really, really good spell. Next up, we've got Holy Spells. Now, a must-have is the Golden Vow Incantation. This is going to increase your attack and defense. Uh, I actually don't know what the defensive increase is, but the attack increases 15%, which stacks with Flame Grant Me Strength, um, which is amazing. I, I, I've gotten mixed numbers on it. Sometimes I get 15%, sometimes I get 20%, so I think it's in between there. Um, next up, we've got Lord's Heal. Uh, Lord's Heal is not the strongest heal in the game. There are better heals, but I found that Lord's Heal heals me to full, even, uh, like, all right, so I'm pretty low here. Gonna pop Lord's Heal. It's not the strongest heal in the game, but it's never not healed me to full. So it's got lower FP cost than some of the other ones, and it's gonna heal me to full. And lastly, for our best holy spell, is probably Elden Stars. Um, this is a good spell to cast if you know you're about to go in on something. You cast it, and then you kind of just run at them with your sword. They're going to be dodging or trying to get around it, uh, taking that constant damage, and then you can start swinging your sword at them. Uh, it's just a really good incantation. For some miscellaneous spells, I really, really like Swarm of Flies. It's a blood incantation. It'll seek enemies, and it's really effective against bosses. It basically guarantees a bleed proc, which once again is a set percentage of health. So if you were fighting a boss and need a set percentage of damage of its max health done, Swarm of Flies is super effective to that because it really doesn't put you at any harm of getting hit. It's super fast casting. I'm going to be honest, I don't have all the Bestial incantations, uh, but Bestial Slig you could cast really fast. It's super low FP cost and just hits kind of like a truck. Um, so I really like that. And then Plas uh, Dusex rune very cool incantation very inconsistent but you can use it against bosses this is a boss incantation it hits like a truck and you can use it in the air uh to hit like a ton of things it's probably one of the best incantations in the game um but it doesn't really fit into a category because it's a boss incantation probably lightning i think it does lightning damage uh but if you use that against a larger target that you can hit that ray multiple times again it is insane and now let's talk about the best incantation in the entire game all right, coming in at our number one spot for the best incantation in the game, and this is a cheese incantation. I hate having this at the number one spot because it cheeses bosses, and you can use it if you'd like, but I feel like I have to share it because I do believe it to be the strongest incantation is the rot incantations, particularly the rot dragon breaths. Now, there are other rot incantations, but the dragon breaths are the best because they apply the rot status effect with the lowest chance of you getting hit as you can apply them from afar. Their casting window is short and their FP cost is low. But the main reason we're using these is to apply the rot status effect to enemies. Rot can tick for over 20,000 damage. If you keep applying it, I've just destroyed bosses by hitting this with, like hitting them with this and then running away, kiting around them, hopping on my horse. You can apply this status effect. I haven't actually timed how long it lasts. I think it's like around 30 seconds. It's a really long time. Um, and it just melts bosses. I, I apologize because I know I'm gonna get hate for showing this as the number one, but just like if you're really struggling with the boss and you really don't think you can do it, try using one of the rot breaths. You'll 
apply rot and then you can swap to your weapon you can swap to lightning bolts or lightning spear or black flame and pile on the damage it's pretty silly and uh easily one of the strongest all right now let's show you guys the locations the giant's flame spells can be found at the top of the guardian garrison there's a little drop down from the top area which will lead you up a wooden staircase that will lead you to the very top tower and in the very top tower you can get the giant's flame book to turn in for the giant's flame spells the flame grant me strength incantation can be found on the back of the gale fort in Kalid. The Lightning Spear spell can be found by killing a knight that is just down the hill from the Artist Shack. The Ancient Dragon incantations, like the Red Lightning ones, you get in the Crumbling Beast Grave Depths. You'll find the Ancient Dragon Prayer Book, uh, which you can turn in, and this is in Faramazul. You don't get to this area till way later on in the game. And then the Fortisax Lightning Spears, I'm not going to show any gameplay of it because it's kind of an endgame uh, spoiler. Um, but you need to do Fia's quest line, and in the Deep Root Deaths, uh, you'll go all the way up the tree and get to the Prince of Death's throne, and when you kill Fortisex, you get that spear. Golden Vow can be found at the Corpse Stent Shack. The Black Flame spell you get from Stormvell Castle. There's a little cellar in the courtyard that you run down on uh, this side closest to this wall. When you run down the cellar, you'll find the Black Flame spell uh, or a book to turn in to get it. Um, and then the Black Blade you don't get until you fight Malekith, who is once again in Faramazul, required story boss to beat, and you can turn in his Remembrance to get the Black Blade. The Lord's Heal spell you get from the Fortified Manor first floor in the area that resembles the Round Table. Once again, you have to jump up a Dragon's Wing to get to this location from the lower parts of Lendl. The Elden Star's incantation can be found by taking the Great Waterfall Crest in Deep Root Deaths, going through some trees, going through some ants, and then you will pop out to the Elden Star incantation. The Flame of Frenzy incantation can be found at the Kalu Baptismal Church, and the Sniper Frenzy, I'm actually blanking on the name right now, can be found up at the top here. If you go to the Church of Inhibition and just go down, you'll see a little bug that you can kill, and it'll give you the Sniper Frenzy shot. The Placidusix Dragon Incantation can be found by fighting Placidusix. I think I'm saying that correctly. Probably not. Actually, I'm definitely saying that incorrectly. Uh, you go to the Crumbling Ferrum Great Bridge. You're going to like drop down onto these secret rocks. And I can't lie down there right now, but you're going to lie down there in the one spot that doesn't have any bones. And you can go into this boss fight. Guys, that is going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed my synopsis of the best incantations. I know there's a few locations I left out. I will leave a link to, in the description to the wiki where you can find those if you're still looking for them. And I will catch y'all in the next one, guys. Take care. Peace. I was playing.